Hello, everyone. No doubt it was proper chaos at Gatwick Airport on Thursday due to a mysterious drone. It was bedlam from immigrants going home for Christmas and for people from here jetting off to a well-earned break. I just wonder if God is telling us something through all this confusion. Surely Christmas is more about staying at home than getting away. Now one of the songs on my Christmas CD this year is entitled Going Home for Christmas and the singer is really looking forward to being at home where he says his heart belongs. Now we see where Mary's heart belonged. She can't wait to be with her cousin Elizabeth. The Gospel says that she went as quickly as she could to visit her. The meeting reinforces elements of family life we seem to be losing today. Sending Christmas cards is one thing, but like Mary and Elizabeth, we also need to meet each other in the flesh a bit more often. And I don't just mean at funerals and weddings. Social media gives the impression we're keeping in touch, but it's a very poor substitute for the real thing. That is, meeting face to face. This especially applies to home life. If parents don't spend actual time, quality time, with their children, then something needs to give. Being a father or mother in the biological sense is one thing, but what really proves your mettle is being there for your children during their formative years. A very disturbing newspaper article I read recently said that many youngsters feel more at home with their peers than with their family. Parents who never give their smartphones a rest, for instance, can irk their children no end. One little boy in year one said recently, I hate my mum's phone. I wish it was never invented. I know perfect families are the stuff of fables, but parenting can't be left to chance. You only get one shot at it. Without faith in God, however, family cohesion can take a battering. And this is where Mary and Elizabeth come in. They were women of sturdy faith. Unlike her husband, Zachary, Elizabeth didn't doubt the angel who said she would conceive even though past the age. Now Mary also took on board the angel Gabriel's words who said she would conceive without human intervention. Now some people we know are dismissive of all this because they say it is biologically impossible. But of course they forgot what the angel Gabriel said to Mary. Nothing is impossible to God. Some people only believe what can be scientifically proven. They even doubt that Jesus worked miracles. Our Lord once asked St. Peter, who was a master fisherman, as we all know, to cast out his nets in a place where he knew there were no fish whatsoever. Against his better judgment, he gave way to Jesus, saying, At your word, Lord, I will let down the nets. And we all know what happened. The boats nearly capsized with the size of the catch. Now that's the faith which Jesus wants families to have. Mary had faith like that and it saw her through all difficulties. So too Elizabeth. <coughs> Elizabeth said to Mary, Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Now may we always see offspring as blessings from God and place family cohesion at the top of our agenda. May the Holy Family of Nazareth be our inspiration and guide. Now thank you all for listening and God bless you.